Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first personal break of the day and today we'll be looking at our last two boxes of 2020 Outlander Season 4 trading cards from Cryptozoic. Now these two boxes are for Kesha P, so thank you so much Kesha for letting me open these on up for you. Hope to find you some awesome Outlander cards to add to your collection. Now what we're typically seeing out of this box, or this product rather, is at least one auto and at least one relic card per box. Seems like every other box has two costume relics and we have seen a box for Tiffany that has had two autos but typically you're just getting one autograph per box. Now it does seem like from when we opened a case uh, on product release uh, for us for singles, it does seem like you're getting one starstruck autograph per case which is a fancy insert autograph of the main cast members. Uh, we haven't seen any yet out of this case so maybe we'll see one here. We did open up our other box that we had this past weekend for Tiffany and saw a printing plate so maybe we'll see some other cool cards here for Kesha. I'm excited to check out these last two boxes and you guys were running out of non-sports products here uh, signature series from Star Wars should be coming out mid-February to March. Um, we're out of Holocron. We're almost out of Mando. We're out of Outlander now. We're out of Game of Thrones. We've been out of Umbrella Academy. So hopefully those Upper Deck Infinity War boxes will show up shortly because we are running out of non-sports. But let's go ahead and get onto this before I continue to get distracted by snapping us into the corner. And of course, we'll go through both boxes and do our recap at the end of box number two as usual. But yeah, it's, it's sad. Outlander's coming to an end. Like, I've never seen the show. But I remember before the channel existed, I wasn't here for the Series 1 and Series 2, or Season 1, Season 2 sets. Uh, I was here when Boss Man opened up three cases, I think, of Season 3. I remember sorting through all of that in Outlander CZX. When that came out as well, I was here for that. Sorted all that, listed it, and whatnot. Uh, so I, I have a special place in my heart for Outlander. I just... Just because I've seen so much of it. I feel like I know what the show's about by just opening the cards. We have our first foil of the box here. Familiar voice, gold foil. And it's just, it's to have it end is just weird. We've had it for so long that now all of it's gone. It's saddening. But hopefully, season five set would be announced soon. And then we'll order that. And of course, start all over again with more Outlander openings. But we have a canvas rogue. That is the name of the card. Not rogue as an X-Men rogue. Speaking of which... I'm thinking about doing a cosplay for X-Men Metal whenever that comes out. Was supposed to come out last week. Uh, just got delayed to to be determined date. So I don't know. I kind of was thinking about like doing a rogue cosplay. But I don't know if it will arrive in time. Because we don't actually know when that product's coming out. So I don't know. And I'd have to use it for like a Marvel Comics opening instead of MCU. Because it would be the comic rogue. And I mean rogue isn't in the MCU. She was in those old X-Men movies, but not in the current ones. We have a red parallel here. Fraser's Ridge insert medical supplies. Number 31 out of 50. Feels like all the most recent boxes we've been opening have had all the red parallels from the case. They're all coming out at once, so that's pretty cool here. Let's get that sleeved up. Red parallel out of 50. Not the easiest to come by. I don't know. I like doing cosplay openings here, but you know, it's not the cheapest. Not the cheapest for sure. But it's worth it. I feel like it's worth it. I just, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't know if I should get like an MCU Scarlet Witch cosplay instead. I don't know. I don't know, man. Leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. We have a canvas jailbreak. Done with the left, I guess, column of the box, rather. I've been saying row, but row is across. Left column, left stack of the box, perhaps. Uh, we are still hitless. Searching for an auto and a relic and any bonuses. Another printing plate would be cool. Not expected, but would be cool. We have Claire found Jamie, gold foil. Another puzzle insert piece. A canvas foiled robbery. Land deed insert.
It's interesting when you get a pack with just all base cards, because I'm used to there being like at least two inserts. I mean, that's just the way it ends up, because interestingly enough with this product, not sure if that's like a typical thing for Cryptozoic. I haven't opened up too much Cryptozoic stuff aside from the Outlander, but there's no like specific insert slot. They're just kind of all mixed in the pack. Some packs will have like foil and like two inserts or like just insert one insert, no inserts. It's very random, very random. Not necessarily a bad thing. It just makes it a little bit thrown off my groove with the piling. We have a canvas insert garden. throws me off just a little bit just a smidge we have dining room all right almost two-thirds of the way done here last pack in the middle still waiting on our hits from box number one We have another gold foil here, a disturbance. We have a canvas, common ground. We do have a relic card here. Very cool. We have a dual relic of Sam Hugan as Jamie Fraser and Tim Downey as Governor Tryon. Dual costume relic. Very cool. That's like a, a flat, soft piece there. And this is more of a textured fabric. That's cool. That is dual material number 13, Jamie Fraser and Governor Tryon from Outlander. All right. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get this sleeved up. And these do look like they will fit in a 100 point top loader. Actually, it's a bit tight. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a 130. All right, very cool. Dual costume relic is our first hit of box number one. All right, let's keep going. Let's find a nice auto here for Kesha. A canvas insert of Aunt Jocasta. And what is that? There's another puzzle piece here. Three puzzle pieces in this box, which seems more than normal. I think you usually get two. All right, and last pack of the box here. Where is our auto? This pack is all kinds of messed up here. Interestingly enough, we actually did not get an auto in this box. Let me check the box, the back of the box here. We did get that dual relic. Look for randomly inserted autograph, one in 24 packs. I mean, there are 24 packs per box. There should have been an auto in here. No guaranteed number of special inserts per box. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and save this box and ask Boss Man. It does say randomly inserted autograph in wardrobe guards. There should have been an auto in here. So let me actually save a pack and move that off to the side. Maybe he can fill out. I don't know if they have missing hit forms for Cryptozoic or if perhaps Tiffany's box with the second auto stole the auto from this box. Still a very nice box though with that dual costume relic featuring Jamie, but that is very frustrating here. Let's see what our one foil parallel in our quarter deck. We have number seven foil and the full suite of hearts. We'll go ahead and sleeve it up. I like sleeving up the playing card foils just because they are just one. There's one per box. But alrighty, let's go ahead and get to box number two and see what we can find here. Perhaps we'll be blown away by something so awesome in here that the auto situation from box number one does not even matter. Still very frustrating. Like I said, I will ask Boss Man about what to do. I'm not certain, like I said, if perhaps it's uh, not technically guaranteed per box, or if we can fill out some sort of form for you with Cryptozoic. 
Uh, Cryptozoic isn't the easiest to get a, a handle on. Uh, we actually have yet to hear back from them on our damage auto from uh, the case opening, which was quite a while ago. We've kind of just given up. But we'll see what we can do for you about that. All right, next pack here. We have Arrival at River Run Canvas. We already have a canvas card here, or uh, not canvas, we have a relic, excuse me, authentic wardrobe piece, a Juak Kapashisit as Raven of Kyoe. Costume relic there. You can see exactly from the little shawl. I always like how they put the character picture in the costume so you can see exactly where the piece is from. So there is our second costume card of the, of the opening, almost out of the box, but of the opening here. Maybe there'll be two autos in this box. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and find out. We have gold foil, the dance, we have a canvas of beauty and Phaedra. We have Fraser Cabin, gold foil. We have another canvas here, Touring Fraser's Ridge. Puzzle piece, checklist card. What oh, we have a Starstruck Auto here, Ed Spielers as Stephen Bonnet. So there is our fancy Starstruck insert of the case. On card, Ed Spielers Auto as Stephen Bonnet, who I believe is the main villain for season four. So that is cool. Personally signed by Ed himself. On card autograph. All right, let's get you top loaded here. So we already have an auto and a relic from box number two. I wonder if we will find a second auto here. Set that off to the side. And all right, let's keep going. Next pack. Laying the boundaries. Oh, we have another red foil here. What America will become number six of 50 red foil. So it does seem like all the foils, that the red numbered foils, did conglomerate at the back of the case. Because all of the most recent boxes we've opened up have had those red foils. Which is interesting to see. It just happens to be the boxes I grabbed. And in the order that I grabbed them was the hiding, hiding foils. Another puzzle piece. We have canvas at the gallows. Land deed insert. I feel like we see that one quite frequently. Canvas insert physician's shed.
We have dining room. We have a gold foil here, mother to mother. We have a canvas, unlikely engagement. I'm getting close to the end here, box number two. Another puzzle piece. And the last regular pack before we get into our sweet pack. Just a bunch of base there. All right, let's go ahead, finish off this box here. Check it out. This suite of spades. And let's see our foil. Who is our foil? We have a foil queen. We have Claire, gold foil here. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's get you sleeved up. Let me move box number two out of the way. And like I said, Kasha, I will check with boss man. And I don't know if I will include it in the message that I send you for this opening. Uh, just because I don't want to perhaps spoil anything for you, but I will let you guys know later what Bossman says about what to do about that missing hit, uh, if we can contact Cryptozoic for you, or if, even though it says 1 in 24 packs is the pack odds for the auto, if perhaps because it just says, look, four randomly inserted autograph and wardrobe cards, wonder if that's their way to get away with any kind of accidental not packing out an auto per box here. That is unfortunate, but hey, still got the case hit here. Got a really cool Jamie Dual Relic and some nice foils. So let's go ahead and do our recap. Did get that Starstruck Ed Spielers as Stephen Bonnet. We had the Authentic Wardrobe of Raven of Kiowi. And the Dual Relic here of Jamie and Governor Tryon. And we also had our two card deck foils. We had the Queen Claire and the seven, I think Lord John Gray there. Then each box did have a red foil out of 50. What America will become Bakes parallel in the insert medical supplies parallel. We had a couple insert canvases, three out of the two boxes. One insert foil out of the two boxes. All these base gold foils, five base gold foils out of two boxes. And the stack of canvas parallels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the two boxes. And then I'll do it here for these last two boxes of 2020 Cryptozoic Outlander season four here for Kasha. Thank you so much, Kasha, like I said, for letting me open these on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Uh, and I hope that first box didn't bring too much of a damper down on you and still enjoyed this. But that will do it here for this opening. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Guards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now also, before I head out, I have to give an extra shout out to all of our channel members for going above and beyond with their support of the channel here. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you to our five Black Label fans. We have Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Pooh Bear, and Steven Olivo. And to our nine Gem Mint fans, Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, House Style 13, Jake Rhino C, Joe Howe, Michael C, and Stephen Bly. Thank you so much, you guys. Like I said, for your above and beyond support of the channel, Bossman and I really, truly appreciate it. But that'll do it here for this video. Still have two more personal breaks coming up today. Next up, we do have a pretty quick one. One Star Wars Mandalorian Season 1 Hobby Box Tin for John B. We're getting quite low on Mando tins as well. I think I mentioned that at the start of the video. And then also, we do have two boxes of Arcane Rising Unlimited from the Flesh and Blood trading card game for David M. So make sure to stay tuned for that if any of those pique your interest. But th thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay, stay safe, take care, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!